welcome to my channel. It's me, D. Garcia. And for today's video, we will be discussing about neonatal intensive care unit or NICU. What are your expectations in the NICU? NICU is a place where doctors and nurses take care of babies who are really sick or who are born early. NICU or neonatal intensive care unit is sometimes called special care nursery, intensive care nursery, or newborn intensive Why do babies go to NICU? Your baby might need to go to the NICU if he or she is born sick or premature, has problems during the birth process such as infection or trouble breathing, the infant shows problems within a few days of being born such as jaundice, when the skin or white part of the eyes turn yellow, or problems with the heart, lungs, or intestines. Who takes care of babies in the NICU? The doctors and nurses in the NICU are specially trained to take care of sick and premature newborns. The NICU staff might include a neonatologist. This is the doctor in charge. Neonatologists are trained in newborn medicine. Nurses. There will be one or more nurses assigned to take care of your baby. A respiratory therapist. The person's job is to give treatments that help with baby's breathing. Nutritionist. This person is specially trained to take care of newborn's feeding needs. Specialist. These are doctors who are trained to treat problems with certain parts of the body like the brain or heart. When will you be able to bring your baby home? It depends on your baby's condition. For some health problems, a baby only needs to stay in the NICU for a few days. Babies who are very sick or premature might need to stay for weeks or even months. Your baby's doctors and nurses will work with you to help you understand how your baby is doing and when he or she might be able to go home. You will get instructions on how to take care of your baby at home and what kinds of follow-up appointments your baby will need. How can you get support while your baby is in the NICU? Having your baby in the NICU can be very hard and stressful. We have social workers and hospital chaplains who provide support during this difficult time. There are also support groups for parents of sick or premature babies. It can be very helpful to talk to other people who are going through the same things. Try to get help from these sources and from relatives and friends. That way, you will have support both in the hospital and at home. I hope you learned from a short glimpse from the NICU. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye!